Hey, it's Mr. Mon, and it is uh, Friday, September 30th. We are on four different pages today. We're going to be getting pages 24 and 25 set up with some objectives. And then 26 and 27, we're going to be um, doing an investigation over the next couple of days, um, observing the motion of a ball, part A today, and then part B on Monday. And our focus question is, why do objects sl speed up, slow down, or change directions? And as on every Friday, check your infinite campus, and we're going to be looking at your assignment notebooks. So on pages 24 and 25, you should have taped in the objectives for the lesson. You need to read over these and understand that this is where your, um, this is your area to organize your thoughts and take notes. Um, it's a really good place to keep all of your ideas and all of your thoughts because a lot of the quiz questions come from the objectives. So um, pages 24 and 25 are going to be up a, kind of a place for you to organize your thoughts and ideas um, for upcoming quizzes and tests. Then on um, page 27, we're going to be working on um, lesson 2-1. And as you read the getting started, you're going to write all your observations and answers to the questions in your notebooks. Uh, make sure they're neat and accurate and stay with your group at all times. And we have two big vocabulary words to worry about here. Uh, the first one is speed. Speed is the rate at which something changes position. And the second vocab word is mass. And the mass is the amount of matter making up an object. So speed and mass, we're going to want to put those in our notebooks. So for step two, um, your teacher is going to give, um, we're going to be in a group uh, with a tennis ball. And you're going to imagine the motion of the ball as you gave it a gentle push across the floor. And you have to imagine the ball's speed across the floor. And remember, speed is the rate at which a ball changes position. So we're going to be looking at a tennis ball and thinking about how um, um, the, the motion of the ball changes as it, as it rolls across the floor. And then the questions you're going to answer are, uh, will the speed of the ball be constant? Um, constant means it won't change um, after, it's ch after it's pushed. And if the speed changes, how do you predict that, that will change? So a um, couple questions to kind of just get you thinking. And then what evidence do you think would be able to justify this answer for 3A? So what information, what observations, what evidence, evidence is a big thing in science, um, would you have to justify your answer for 3A? So basically why, what observations you made in the past uh, make you think that. Um, objectives for this lesson, we're going to be doing, um, you know, focusing on the first, second, and third ones, or first, second, and fifth ones. And then um, remember, uh, with the tennis balls, no one should be walking near them. Avoid areas where people are walking. Don't bounce or throw the balls. We're only rolling them gently. Materials for investigation 2-1. And remember, we're going to be doing um, parts A, which is 1 through 6 today, and part B, uh, 7 through 12 on Monday. And then a big thing is don't forget to read page 18 during step three. So a lot of information for step three is going to be found on page 18. Um, I'm providing a PDF on Google Classroom. And um, you're going to need a meter stick and a textbook and then some a stopwatches and a, and a tennis ball. So um, you're going to complete part A, steps one through six, uh, as a group today. Remember, don't forget to go back to page 18. 18 is going to have information for step three. Um, hopefully you have a great day and go Cardinals.